victory, while Republican opponents marshaled forces hoping to undo the law. We will stake out all sides tonight, including your doctor's office, to ask how doctors think this will change your life. But up first, Jake Tapper at the White House, where the president said today this nation will not scale back its aspirations. Jake? That's right, Diane. Before the raucous celebration, the president said today that the bill signing was both remarkable and improbable, and it was that, given the bill's setback after setback, and President Obama today was as happy as we've seen him perhaps since the inauguration. Thank you. It was part campaign rally. Thank you. Everybody please have a seat. Part Thank State you. of the Union. Today, after all the votes have been tallied, Health insurance reform becomes law in the United States of America. I'm signing this reform bill into law on behalf of my mother, who argued with insurance companies even as she battled cancer in her final days. The president also said he was signing the bill for the millions of Americans who have no health insurance, including the mother of 11-year-old Marcellus Owens. She lost her job, her insurance, and then she lost her life. And he recognized Vicki Kennedy, widow of the late Senator Ted Kennedy, a champion of universal health care. I remember seeing Ted walk through that door in a summit in this room a year ago. He was confident that we would do the right thing. And then, after more than a year of bitter debate, the president finally signed the bill. I've got to use every pen, so it's going to take a really long time. Using 22 pens giving away 19 to allies, two to the archives, and one for himself. And at a later celebration... Yes, he did. <laughs> Let us always remember the lesson of this day and the lesson of history. We don't fear the future. We shape the future. That's what we do. That's who we are. That makes us the United States of America. The vice president, obviously unaware of the open microphone, offered his own particular take on the enormity of the proceeding. And White House Press Secretary Robert Gibbs responded immediately on Twitter, writing, Yes, Mr. Vice President, you're right. So FDR had the New Deal, Diane, and according to Vice President Biden, President Obama has the big bleeping deal.